If you're thinking about heading out bouldering on the Southern Sandstone, there are some really important ethics you need to be aware of. Here's our top seven. Not only are bouldering mats great at saving you from your mistakes, but they're fantastic at minimizing ground erosion. Moral of the story, bouldering mats are everyone's friend. If you're needing to use tick marks, you should probably pay more attention to the climb you're on. Now I know it's not the same as those big orange footholds you're used to in the climbing gym, but improving your observational skills will massively improve your route reading and it'll stop the next person from admiring the jug you just ticked. Chances are that vegetation has been there a lot longer than you. Show it a bit of love and give it some space and leave it alone. Chipping has never been a thing. It's completely unacceptable, whatever crag you're at, wherever you are. Excessive brushing causes erosion. Be kind, be gentle. These guys, out. This bad boy's in. Everyone likes clean shoes and I'm sure the next person wouldn't appreciate you leaving sand all over their handholds. Give your shoes a clean before you pull onto your project. Walking through clouds of chalk are only good in action movies. Save your chalk, save your money, and more importantly, save the rock. Use as little chalk as possible when climbing. So, those are the key points for bouldering here at the Southern Sandstone. If they didn't sink in, don't worry, you can head over to the BMC website and download the latest copy of the Southern Sandstone Code of Practice leaflet.